I'll be calling up next. Looks like she's also another basket filled with lots of fruits like myself. Another leader in our community, Chief Tina Tinuke Akiola Jinad. She is a community leader, the organizer of Miss Africa Island, a triple chief, and an investment banker. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, GB, for that wonderful introduction. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for making our time to celebrate this wonderful day, uh, International Women's Day, uh, with us here, addressing the issues concerning our community and our children. And I welcome you all, all protocol observed. Uh, Eze, uh, you gave me one of the chieftains, so thank you so much. You're welcome. So, and, um, and I'd like to welcome everybody else. And I just go straight, because I've just been told I have just very few minutes, even though I have um, a long list of things to talk about. Everybody's been talking about the issues, issues, issues. I would rather talk about um, how we can prevent it. The issues on ground already. But for us to prevent it, I would say, let us catch them young. I know that we have a lot of um, young people amongst us here, and some of us who are still in the child-rearing ages I've closed that chapter 16 years ago. My last child is 16. To the glory of God, I have two graduates, and, um, and they're not in any of the troubles that we're talking about. They're not saints, I will mean. I faced it. And I would say, I probably, even though I'm married, I raised my kids all by myself, because my husband was never here. He was always back home in Nigeria. And I know a few other of my friends who are married and are here today, but have been raising their kids alone. So it's a tough job. But as a mother, you have to do what you have to do with your kids. You have to be strong, you have to be firm. They are confused because they are neither here nor there. They are Africans, they are Irish. When they go to school, when they meet up with their friends, it's a different ball game. When they get home, it's a different ball game. So you need to talk to them. Like the young lady said, communication. Catch them young. Start talking to them before they even start going to school. Before they start um, junior infants. Start talking to them. Let them understand the basics. Let them understand what it is and what, is, what life is all about. Start to talk to them. Communicate with them. Let them understand that their skin color is different, but they're the same as every other child out there. So color doesn't matter. I hate the word black, I don't like it. I hate the word white, I don't like it. I see people, I don't see color at all. So let them see that as well. You know, it depends on how you want to bring up your child, but you have to think about the community that you're bringing them up in as well. How are they going to be able to fit? So many people start, I've seen so many kids that start um, junior infants and they just wouldn't cope. I remember my last child's uh, first day at school. He came back home and he was telling me a lot of things. And the first thing he said to me was that, thank you, mom. And I was like, oh, what do you mean? What happened? He was like, a lot, of, a lot of the other kids that came to school today, as the first day in school, they found it really tough and difficult. And he was like the go-to guy. He was a four-year-old as well. But he, he knew everything. He had all the answers to every question. He knew everything. So the teacher ended up saying, everybody else except Toby. Everybody else except Toby because Toby knew everything. How did he know everything? Not only because he had two older uh, siblings. No, because I had told him a lot of things. I had prepared him. Do you talk to your children? Do you prepare them? Do you, do you, do you actually communicate? It's so important. 